What's going on, guys? I know it's been a while. I know you missed this ugly mug, but I'm back, guys. And today, we're going to be talking about a newer fragrance house, a niche fragrance house. And the house we're going to be talking about is Argos. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, I'm Joshua and this is Scent Sense. To all my subscribers and my loyal viewers guys, thank you. And to all my new guests and hopefully new subscribers, welcome in guys. Today we're gonna to be talking about a new fragrance house. It's actually a niche fragrance house called Argos. Argos is a relatively new fragrance house. It actually was started by a guy by the name of Christian Petrovich. He is a male model and he has modeled for many large uh, fragrance houses and other establishments. And uh, through his travels and his journeys, he's met many people, made many connections, and he decided to start his own fragrance line. Now before I go any further guys, and before a thousand people comment and whine about me getting free stuff and about reviewers not really you know, giving their real two cents on a fragrance, guys, if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. And if you don't like that I do or do not like it, I really don't care. This is supposed to be about a community on this channel of people who enjoy fragrances. And I wanna tell you about the ones that you should buy. Why? Because I'm gonna tell you if I would buy it. And I'm gonna tell you if I'm gonna keep it. So guys, let's start off with Argus Pour Home. Argos Pour Home is one of the most well-rounded niche fragrances that I've had the chance to get my nose upon. Uh, I spent time and time again trying to find a way to accurately describe this fragrance. I tried it for multiple, multiple days, actually a few weeks, and uh, I wore it many times. If you pay attention to my Instagram and my Facebook post, guys, you know that I definitely tried this a few times. Right out of the opening, guys, you're gonna get a very strong presence of citrus. Uh, it's very fresh and crisp and inviting. It's not very synthetic. It does not have any bitter notes to it like Terre d'Hermes, but it's more of an invigorating citrus accord. Uh, right in the middle of all of this, you're gonna get some lavender. You're gonna get some more floral notes that's gonna make it a little more well-rounded. And at the base, you're gonna get some woodsy notes and some vanilla, which add a little bit of a gourmand touch to it. The best way to sum up this fragrance, guys, is if Versace started their own uh, exclusive line, kind of like Hermes has done, or Guerlain, or Tom Ford, or any of these other guys, like um, Salvatore Ferragamo, like that fragrance La Comedia that Chad talks about all the time. If, if Versace were to start one of those, this would be their signature start fragrance. I mean, this is if you took everything you know about the Versace fragrances that are so likable, but yet missing just a little something to keep it up there with those higher end fragrances, that's what this is, guys. This is this is Versace done niche. It fantastically performs in Louisiana weather. I've worn it in the cold, I've worn it in the heat. I get at least six to seven hours projection. During that last hour of projection, it tends to get closer and closer to the skin. Then it becomes a skin scent, but uh, unlike most fragrances that become skin scents, this one's more inviting and more warming. Uh, most skin scents you notice, you've gotta, to find it, this one, it will linger around you. People will have to get really close to get there, but it's there. A favorite thing about the fragrance is it's 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 named Argos. It's actually named after a, a Greek, uh, Greek mythology figure called Argos, which was this gigantic figure that Hera made to watch over Zeus because your boy liked to make a lot of scandalous decisions. <laughs> so uh, he had a beast that watched him and uh, half of the beast would be awake, half of the beast would not be awake. And uh, that's kind of what this is to me. This is a beast of a fragrance in the fact that it's citrus based, it's very fresh, but yet it performs, guys. Not many of you know this about me, but I am a huge Greek mythology geek. So uh, whenever he told me about this and, uh, and let me know that that was the basis of how this was formed, I was so excited, guys. But I mean, the bottle is so fantastic. It's such great attention to detail. I mean, the cap has the insignia on it. I mean, the bottle has the insignia and it's a solid glass bottle, guys. Fantastic fragrance. You should definitely, definitely get your nose on it. Even though YouTube says that my ladies demographic is quite small, I've got to talk to you ladies. This fragrance is fantastic. The male one is great. Argos Pour Homme is a fantastic fragrance. And in my opinion, it's worth every one of the $175 it costs for that 100 ml bottle. But this, ladies, it 
it's so good. First of all, can we talk about the presentation? Now, I am not a huge fan of presentation, but I know ladies like things that look nice. This bottle and this gold and white box that's actually wood. I don't know if you can hear that solidness, but uh, is solidness a word? As you can see, ladies, the bottle is a lot like the male bottle. Same cap, same bottle, same insignias. The only difference is here on the bottle it says pour femme and you have the uh, female insignia. Uh, this is a fantastic, well articulated vanilla fragrance. Oh, I'm gonna spray it on me because I just don't mind. There's lots of other notes in there. I will put them on the screen somewhere around me, but what I get out of this is vanilla seduction, ladies. I definitely want the lady who I'm talking to to smell like this. Guys, speaking to you now, this would be a great gift. The lady in your life would think you are smart and cool and different because you won't be getting a mini Carolina Herrera or YSL or Versace or all the other bottles that they've seen tons of. This definitely beats the Marc Jacobs daisies of the world, ladies. This is probably one of the best female fragrances I've ever smelled. My wife thinks it smells fantastic, but it's not really her cup of tea to smell on herself. And that's important too, uh, guys. You don't just buy a fragrance based on what you think it smells like. It's also about what she thinks it smells like. But to me, man, this is so good. Again, if Versace were to make a female line that was also an exclusive line, this would definitely work. And I just like the vibe of the bottle and the logo and the name. I think it has that Versace-esque uh, feel to it. Ladies, you should definitely check it out. That's Pour Femme by Argos. So guys, these two fragrances right here will definitely get the job done. If you want to get a his and hers package, they're $175 for a 100 ml bottle. I know it's pricey, but here's the deal. You're gonna pay more than that for Creed. You're gonna pay more than that for Tom Ford. You're gonna pay more than that for a lot of other niche fragrances. These are definitely worth it. They use the finest ingredients. Christian definitely put his time into making this. Um, he had some influences from the UAE, uh, friends from Morocco that helped him blend these fragrances. So these are not just your boring uh, drugstore fragrances. These are fantastic fragrances. I think they're worth every penny, and I know it's hard to believe because these were sent to me for free, but guys, when he releases his next fragrance, I will purchase it, and I will still review it because these are definitely some heavy hitters in my book, and they smell fantastic. You should definitely check it out. That's Argos Pour Home and Argos Pour Femme. First off, I'd like to thank Christian for going ahead and being nice enough to think of me and send me these bottles for review. And guys, he wanted to make sure that you didn't think, uh, you know, you were going to go away empty handed. So he sent me two travel size atomizers that are refillable with, for his fragrances uh, with the, the male and female. He gave me two combos. So instead of giving these out to four people, um, two things. I'm going to save me some shipping money, guys, because I pay for this out of my own pocket when I send these to you. Uh, contrary to popular belief and also because I want these to go to that lady or man who's gonna enjoy them and he can, they could give it to their significant other or a friend or a friend of a friend or keep it in their drawer for when they want to get scandalous and they want that person that they don't think smells that great to smell better guys all you have to do to get these fragrances number one like and share this video comment below why you want these fragrances and what you look forward to most about them and of course you got to subscribe because how are you going to know that you won unless you subscribed so you can see more videos yes i know you don't have to just subscribe please and guys just so y'all can see what these are all about i'll go ahead and open them up um, as you can see it's a atomizer it says argos you have the fill level on the back and of course, in the very bottom is where you pump up to fill up the bottle. It's got a cool little atomizer. I'm not gonna spray it. I don't wanna waste the juice that you're gonna get. And then it also comes with this really cool, you know how I feel about boxes, guys. Don't worry, I'll pick those up and put your stuff back in and mail it to you. It'll come in this really cool, nifty little uh, velour travel pouch for you to put your fragrance in, which is really neat, guys. Uh, his attention to detail is fantastic. So again, guys, to wrap it up, guys, like, share, comment, subscribe, and let me know in the comment section below why you like this fragrance and what you look forward to most about getting it. 
guys, thank you so much for uh, sticking around and staying subscribed and uh, watching my videos. You have no idea uh, how exponentially happy this makes me to know that there's other people out there that feel like I do about fragrance. I hope y'all continue to watch guys and I'll smell you later. Peace.